Hi guys, welcome back. Um, as you can see, we're back to this old bike again. Uh, this is my, uh, it's just a standard old push bike with a 1500 watt Voila Mart uh, kit, um, rear hub kit installed in it. There you go, Voila Mart 1500 watts. <clears throat> and been a couple of upgrades since the last uh, posted. Um, what I basically did was I took this controller apart. I think the last video I sh I uh, put up, uh, I complained that this this controller was a bit underwhelming, um, a wee bit underpowered. <clears throat> and what I did was I took this apart. Hopefully you can maybe see pictures of what I did when I when I'm talking here. But uh, basically what I did was I took this apart. Um, took the, the circuit board out of it and looked at the high current um, tracks that were on the circuit board and <clears throat> resoldered them because they were really quite badly soldered the first uh, in the factory. This is quite a cheap controller. I mean, uh, you can't say anything much more than that, but um, so, the, so the tracks were not particularly well soldered. So I put a lot of extra solder on the tracks uh, I also put a bridge or a blob of solder across the shunt. It was, I think, three three metal bars in the shunt, and I bridged two of them with solder. Uh, and what that means is that <clears throat> they, that shunt then becomes a lower resistance, basically. So it goes faster. That's the theory. I don't really know much about it, but it seems to work. Basically, after doing all that, Plugged the old controller back in again. Or this is the original controller that came with this kit. Uh, when I plugged that back in, it's flying machine. Absolutely brilliant. Love it. Uh, still can't use the cadence sensor. This is the cadence sensor here. And basically, when the pedals are turning, uh, this little sensor picks up these magnets or senses these magnets and tells the controller. The rider is pedaling, you can start out putting power to the back wheel. Trouble is, it either puts full power at 15 miles per hour if the two green wires are connected, or it puts full power at 15, at whatever, 30 or 40 miles per hour if they're not connected. So basically, the cadence sensors tells the controller, give it full power. Um, I haven't figured out a way of reducing that yet. I sort of thought maybe putting resistors in or uh, I tried different things, didn't work. Basically, if this controller sees cadence from the sensor, it goes full power. If it was a 250 watt motor in the back, that might be all right. But a 1500 watt that's now been upgraded to 2000 or 2500 watts, and you put uh, full power on, that's not good. So kind of dangerous. So the cadence control has been disconnected. It might be okay for 15 miles per hour, uh, but even then it's not great if you want to pedal through traffic or something, it's just no good. So that's disconnected and we're just going throttle only now. So what I've also done is, uh, I may have also mentioned that the old this is the old um, throttle on this bike. I may have mentioned that that's pretty rubbish. Um, it only has it has what four bars there telling you whether you're full power or half power or whatever battery life is left. Total rubbish. And it's only got a, a button to turn the thing on or off and on. So this is what I've done. I've used a half throttle and a key switch so let's make sure that's all right so if i go like that it spins this is just a standard uh half throttle you can buy these off ebay for 10 15 quid even less uh comes with the key switch really really good uh quality um gives you the voltage so you can see what your voltage sag is. 
Uh, you can also see whether the battery needs charged or doesn't need charged. Much, much better than that other one. Uh, this gives you the actual voltage, not just some approximate, it's around about that kind of thing. So that's much better. Um, the way to plug that in, I'll just show you this. This, uh, If you happen to have one of these Wallamart controllers, um, this will be the... The connector that you're going to have for um, it's the throttle and uh, power switch so that's that's what you're going to see basically if you have that and you want to replace it with that it's very simple well, this is a connector I put on this one as well but very very simple basically the black white and red connectors that is that is a uh, center plus and minus and that goes to on the volumart um it goes to sorry if, if you're using a new controller the same color wires are black green and red so what's black white and red in this is black green and red on this. This is just another controller with a, a, a volt reading on it. Pretty much the same sort of controller as the other one used. So black, white and red on the Volumart is black, green and red on this. Yellow, brown and green are neg, pause and neg. So the brown is a pause and yellow and green are neg in this. And then one of these ones, yellow is pause and blue is neg. But you should get this end, you should get the uh, the details from whatever uh, throttle you've bought. But hopefully if, if it's a similar one to this um, and you want to use the, switch, the key switch to turn on the controller, it's yellow is pause and blue is neg. So all you have to do is connect the yellow to the brown and the blue to either yellow and green. I know that probably doesn't sound very simple, very straightforward. I'll see if I can dig it out in this. See if I can see where they are. There it is there. So there's your there's your throttle control. It is Red, green, black goes to. I can get this out. Red, white, and black. Okay. And the power connector, I actually just put it into a. Yeah, I can get it out. I just put it into a, um, a jack. There you go. Brown and green coming out of the controller goes to yellow and blue going to the going to the switch up there so that's it very very simple just for some reason there's an extra work on the volumar controller an extra negative i don't know what that's there for but you don't need it that's all you need to make this go so that's it for now that's the all the updates for now um other things I would like to do, I would like to make this 52 volts instead of 48 volts. Add another row of cells in series with that. That would be nice. Give it a bit more speed, a bit more, ah, last, go a bit further. Um, but what I would really like to do is figure out a way to get the cadence working. Um, but I think to do that, we're going to have to play with the throttle control rather than this cadence control because the cadence control wherever it is the cadence control going into this controller seems to be just on or off it doesn't uh there's no no throttling back uh, so if you pedal slowly it doesn't matter how slowly you pedal if you if you're pedaling fast enough for that to work you're going full full throttle so that's it. Um, hopefully that will be of some help to anybody who's thinking of getting one of these controllers and thinking of 
maybe changing the throttle on it. Um, the, the nice thing about this throttle is that you can set it and because you're, the left hand side of your hand is on this, which is solid, it means it's much easier just to hold it in, in one particular spot. I find found with the ordinary throttle, because you're moving, turning the whole thing, if you had a slight bump, you would maybe jerk slightly and you go, your, uh, your throttle then, it's in this particular, with this particular motor, your throttle just has to increase very slightly and you're taking off. Um, so yeah, thoroughly recommend for one of these bikes, one of these half throttle, half grip throttles. Um, and like I say, it's even better because it tells you the, the exact voltage that you've got in your battery. So that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, hopefully see you again soon. Bye for now.